We have um, two people helping with makeup, actually. Jessica Levin, she's actually from Hood River, and she does our window displays at the store, and she's really amazing. So she's helping with makeup, and she's also helped with styling. And then Brenda Dunn from Portland, who is our resident artist. Um, she's an amazing artist who does a lot of pinup girls, and um, she's doing makeup. And then we have Chelsea, who is from Portland, from Sugar Laboratories, and she is our fabulous hair girl. And then all of our models are, um, five of them are from Hood River, and then we have two from Portland, and actually Brenda Dunn, our artist, and makeup artist is also one of our models. We well, we have two runs in the show and the first one will be our casual run um, which is mostly kind of what we carry at the store like everyday clothes that you can kind of dress up and are comfortable and sexy and our second run is a holiday outfit so holiday dresses and a little sassiness to go along with it tonight. But we just kind of wanted to have an overall display of what we carry at the store. This jacket here is actually a line called Desigual. It's from Spain. And they just are an amazing company that has lots of different, lots of detail to their stuff. It's pretty cool. It's just kind of a, a name that I came up with um, as I was writing my business plan. I just wanted, I had a, a lot of young designers, um, independent designers that make all their own stuff that's not just necessarily distributed through a big company. And so it's just like the, the pieces, the parts, and the labor is the work that goes into making the clothing. Mostly I've just, I've always loved fashion and um, I was a single mom and was working as a dental assistant and was just tired of working for other people and wanted to do my own thing and so I just spent like a year after I put my son to bed writing my business plan and then a space came available and I just decided to go for it. So it's been um, five and a half years now. So it opened in 2005. At this point being open five and a half years now, I have an amazing uh, manager, Dana, and she is really gives me a lot of time to be able to take time off if I need it and just kind of spend more time with my family, which has been great. Our look for the first, well, overall, we're new designers of that slink, and so we kind of wanted to bring a new, or new owners of that slink, we're trying to bring a new vibe to what it used to be. And my whole style is that I like, like, kind of vintage meets modern. That's kind of our philosophy, so the idea of, like, a snap shirt with a great tie but with a grandpa's cardigan and a pinstripe pant that kind of ties it all together where it's not really about who you're wearing it's about how you're wearing it and that's what makes it so fantastic because it should just boost your confidence but also set you apart um, and then with the hair we're just kind of accenting um, the guys is going to be really trendy like faux hawks and clean cut but to the you know side swept kind of look and then um, the girls are going to be out of control, just really 60s, cute, um, snow-kissed, pompadour, and Melinda Chavez is doing our hair, and she's fabulous, and her makeup. So I'm just kind of organizing up everything, make sure it works. And then we like little vintage elements like bow ties mixed with the leather. It's kind of our, our uh, vibe for the second pass. I have a background from LA. I just moved from Los Angeles. I'm a wardrobe stylist out there. And I was working with my friends on a TV show. And then um, my family's lived out here for 15 years. So when the opportunity of the show, or not the show, of uh, the store came up for sale, we were just at the right time, the right place in our lives to actually consider moving and actually consider kind of doing the dream that my mom and I have always thought about. Um, putting things together. Um, she's always believed in my style and my creativity, and this was gonna be the platform to kind of bring my creativity together with her business sense. So that's kind of what just struck a chord. And, and we just, I've always wanted to be my own boss. I'm um, working for crazy people in Los Angeles. <laughs> you get tired of it, so at the end of the day, you kind of just wanna make your own decisions. 
LA, everyone's very um, focused on themselves and their career and kind of what you can do for them. Um, there's not a lot of love, there's not a lot of uh, praise um, for your creativity and the things that you do there. Here, it's been really great because we've been able to um, put things together, but then people are also able to give us the praise that we deserve. So it's just been really nice to kind of get recognized for the hard work that I do and all the details that I really, truly put into everything. Um, I really think about each color story and each person's personality um, and make sure that it works for them, that they're comfortable in it, and that it's kind of just like a reflection of what they could be inside. So, LA always never recognizes any of that. Just like, what can you do for me? So, swank is just, just means hip, happening on it. Um, it was a coin turn or coin phrase in the 50s. That swank just meant that it was kind of beyond cool um, and that it was also very classic. So that's kind of how I see the definition of it. And that's what we're trying to bring back um, to the vibe of the store. When I graduated, I spent my summer being lazy and then I went to OSU. And so now I am studying fashion design or trying to. Um, and that basically means I'm studying computer design and stuff like that because to get into my major I have to pass a bunch of classes and um, make my GPA really awesome. So if I do get into my major then that means that I'll be able to take more of the awesome classes like apparel construction and stuff. So um, I was inspired by birds and I'm not sure where that came from but um, basically how we're doing the hair right now is we're doing like a bird's nest kind of thing. And so we're doing really messy buns and um, then we're doing really earthy makeup. And um, I actually went outside and collected some twigs and leaves that we're gonna stick in their hair. And it's gonna be great. And then um, Jess right here is going to be walking down first. Instead of being like a flower girl, she's gonna be like the feather girl and she's gonna be throwing little feathers everywhere. And then I'll have the brides come out and it'll be awesome, hopefully. Right now, we are at getting everything done at last minute, which is what I do best, luckily. And you can ask my Writing 122 teacher that. <laughs> she will vouch for me. You started out when she was just a little baby. Apparently, I was just a little baby when I wanted to study fashion design. And um, we have like pictures of me from when I was like four years old with these little like boxes covered in towels that have been stapled together and stuff, making dresses. Um, so I guess I've just always been into fashion. I can't think of a time when I wasn't. And there was a time when I didn't consider it as a career just because it seemed a bit fanciful. But I think now that I know it's definitely available. I'm wanting to join the OSU Fashion Club and they do this event where it's uh, like a recycled fashion show, so you can only spend $5 total on a garment, and they really want um, every single <laughs> material to be uh, used already. And so what I was thinking was, if I could figure out how to felt um, dryer lint, that would be like a great fibrous material to use that I can actually sew with. But along the way, I sort of forgot to collect my dryer lint. Especially in college when that's not really an option because you're using other people's dryer lint. And for whatever reason, that kind of freaked me out. I guess I could go on a tangent about my grandmother being the most expert in all homemade goods. She crochets, sews, she embroiders, she does everything. So when I was younger, she'd always try to teach me how to crochet and stuff and she would get too frustrated because I didn't know how to learn. And so um, I just taught myself how to do that. and. Then I taught myself how to knit, taught myself how to sew, and now I'm doing a show. Her design started out on our garage door, and I started blaming the neighbors for drawing on our garage doors. Come to find out that it was uh, that it was Bailey that was actually drawing on the garage door. So uh, I didn't find that out till a few years afterwards when we moved from our house, and I found the exact garage door drawing in Bailey's closet. So it was uh, it was kind of. Uh, a moment for us where we felt bad and good at the same time because we had blamed the neighbor girl for drawing on our garage door. It was, it was really Bailey drawing a dress. And, uh, 
she sort of, she sort of started out with. Um, She's always been deep in the books and reading, and she taught herself how to read with, and so through books and those types of things. So I think that's uh, that's really where her roots came from. These are my designs for tonight. I got inspiration from music and people and stuff. Um, they're all dresses, like for weddings, where to weddings, dances. My mom is doing their hair. They're gonna rock it up a little bit because that's where I get a lot of my influence, actually, music. So. They're gonna be rocked up. Music, I just listen to music while I design everything. So, like this song, I would design something more dancey, go to the club, you know. <laughs> we are co presidents for the fashion club this year, and we've expanded quite a bit. What else? Yeah, we have a lot of new members and a lot of designers. It's exciting. I'm so happy. Yeah, actually. true. We're changing a lot of stuff. And yeah. We're expanding more it more fast. from fashion to like hair and makeup and stuff too. Yeah. Like all the different elements of fashion and stuff. Last year, we had like mainly clothes, like all clothing designers. Now we have yeah. like shoes and accessories jewelry, accessories, and hair, like makeup. Stand out for all the fashion. Yeah. Wow. We had a lot of people sign up this year, and we have like a lot more members coming to meetings and everything. Yeah. Where last year it was just like five. Yeah, it was like members, five. Of us. And now it's like fifteen. Yeah. So it's really exciting. So. I'm excited. We just started too, so we haven't done that much yet. This is like our first thing this year, but I'm excited. It's really fun. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gabriela Garcia, and I'm in the fashion club too. And everyone else is like doing clothing and all this stuff, but I'm doing jewelry. My friend Jordan is wearing a pair of earrings. She's wearing some pink and copper ones that are going to go along with her shoes that she has made. <laughs> and then um, Olivia. She's wearing a pair of green earrings that I made too. I started when I was eight years old. My grandma bought me this like, I don't know, this box full of beads. I don't know, she just bought me this box of beads and I'm like, what am I supposed to do with it? She's like, make, you know, whatever you want. And then off of that, I started making, I, I first started with like string earrings and then I went from metal and then starling silver and off of that, like, when, and then I used my imagination. I took classes too. We are supporting three different businesses tonight and we are bambinos and we are we have the children so we are modeling for Outside Baby which is outdoor clothing and we're modeling for Cahart and they have like great clothing for the children and then we also are modeling for dogs. And these two gorgeous girls, Gigi and Jasmine, they're modeling for, uh, for dogs. And these are our older children and they were part of our art program this summer and we love to have them with us, helping us to promote other businesses in the area. What's your favorite part of modeling? Did you know? No. You don't know? I don't even like modeling. Oh my goodness, you do.